unboxing of a digital audio optical switch. So let's open it up. There's the switch. So here's the switch. It's a uh, toss link. There's the uh, DC uh, 5 volt. And then you have your 1, 2 switch in the IR. And then you got your 3. So this is a 3 in and 1 out. So now, what else is in the package? So you have your IR cable. Your 5 volt adapter. And your remote control. And... So, we'll hook this up and see how it works. Okay, we have that Toslink uh, uh, switch hooked up. Here it is right here. Here's the button right here if you want to switch without, you know, hanging out batteries in your remote. So you just hit this button. And as you can see, it switches. And again, tiny so you only got three so right now a TV is on one my other system PS4 is on two and the other one will be my Apple TV now I also have this thing now this thing here is garbage but it served the purpose. If you don't, the way this works is you pull this in, and you turn it, and you're gonna get right in there. Number two, and you'll see where it goes red. If you don't get this all the way in, it won't work. And I had some problems with this. Sometimes you put it in and you get a weight or frig with it or wiggle it back and forth to get it to work. It does work does serve the purpose but it's a pain in the butt to get down here and turn this every time and uh, I just found this one here more convenient so the way I have this hooked up is here's the IR cord which is an I I got it going out through the back of the TV coming up to right there now you see this little thing here a little square inside get a little closer you gotta have that pointing out like this so your remote control can pick it up. It's very finicky, so if you don't have it like that, you're gonna have problems getting it to switch for the IR blaster to pick that up. So if you had it laying flat or stuck to something like right here, it ain't gonna work too good for you. You have to stand on top of it and change it. So you gotta make sure you have. <clears throat> See the glasses in there? You gotta have that pointing right towards your where you're gonna be sitting, like preferably your couch. So that's how I got that set up. Now, pretty bright. This has a power also five volt, which is right here. I got it plugged in, and uh, eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have this hooked up to the back of my TV with some 3 end tape just like that and uh, that's how I'm going to have it set up and I also have another one I have a HDMI switch <clears throat> I'm going to have hooked up on the other side so you can plug in different uh, things for your HDMI so I'll show you the remote control back here 
Now here's the remote control. Just to focus, you got one, two, three. Put it on one, two, see it switches. You'll see the light change down there. It's one, two, three. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Make sure you have that pointing straight out, flat, on the surface where the IR remote can pick it up. I did have it sitting on top of the, uh, the camera, as you can see right there. I wish it was facing straight up. It wasn't working. I had to walk over to the angle here and hit the button. So I stuck it right to the TV like that. It's just a little 3M tape, nothing harder, or nothing to clean off. So. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. That's a handy little dandy tool. I love it. It's better than switching that other thing I had. So right on you guys. Rate, subscribe. Thank you. Later.